This morning on Forever Young, preparing for old age. Studies suggest that understanding how we age can greatly improve longevity. Now there is a way for you to experience what it feels like to be a lot older. NBC's Peter Alexander got his own personal glimpse into the future. Peter, how did it look? Matt, I have new respect for you. <laughs> That's not nice. No, I'm just That's kidding. not nice. The statistics here are staggering. In the U.S. alone, 10,000 baby boomers are turning 65 every single day. Of course, they're going to have to adapt, but so do the rest of us. And there's now a new team of researchers trying to help. When I get older, losing my head. You've heard it said before, you're not getting older, you're getting better. At least that's what we'd like to believe. But the fact is, no one likes getting old. I think it's funny being old. My whole goddamn body's falling apart. In the next two decades, roughly 72 million Americans, one-fifth of the population, will be 65 or older. Shift and click. Dr. Joe Coughlin and his team of engineers at MIT's Age Lab are planning ahead. And when we think about an older population, we basically think of our grandparents and we think a lot more of them. But, but we're different and that we're not just older, but we're going to expect more. The first challenge to understand what aging feels like. Research associate Katie Godfrey outfitted me in what they call AGNIS that stands for Age Gain Now Empathy System, a specially designed suit to transform someone, take a 34-year-old correspondent like me, into a 74-year-old. A harness and tight bands restrict movement. Rubber gloves weaken your grip. Step on in. Padded shoes throw off your balance. We're going to put on the neck brace, which is good. Along with a neck brace and tethered helmet to create spinal compression. And to top it off, goggles to blur your vision. There's nothing pleasant about aging. The effect, what Dr. Coughlin calls the three F's, friction, frustration, Who's got water? and fatigue. I'm just going to sit. The purpose of all this, to simulate what it's like for a senior to navigate daily activities, like grocery shopping. If it's not right in front of me, it's almost not worth it. Up here is exhausting. Down there, I fear just tumbling over. Oh boy. I go? Driving a car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. It was green. Wait, I thought I was going to hit that guy. The whole thing? and the simple joy of baking cupcakes. Yeah, if I can get it open. It's not easy to take this off. Oh, this is not gonna be a good cupcake. MIT's goal, to help businesses reinvent products and services for an aging population. It's a strategy already being embraced by stores like Walgreens with lower shelves now making items easier to reach and bold signs labeling each aisle after an exhausting afternoon is Agnes. I'll get the door for you, Agnes. <laughs> it's kind of you. Age before beauty. I had an even greater appreciation for a very special senior. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yes. Meet my grandma Faye. As she'd proudly tell you, she's 93 and four months and still going strong. With plenty of good advice for the rest of us. Don't groan and complain. Nobody wants to hear you, okay? <laughs> and just expect everything to work out. You love that Grandma Faye. When she speaks, believe it, her six grandchildren do listen. She had great advice, but what I really liked was her strategy. If she ever has trouble reaching down to pick something off a low store shelf, she told me that she just waits for a younger male to come around and asks for help. So maybe Natalie can hold on to that about 60 years from now. Matt. <laughs> no, I'm Peter Alexander, thank you. Joe Coughlin is the director of MIT's Age Lab. Dr. Neil Resnick is the chief of geriatrics at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And Natalie is testing out the suit. Mm -hmm. Natalie, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning to you. Good morning. Who's going to wear this? Who are you building these for? You want CEOs of companies to try these what? This is a tool that we developed at the MIT Age Lab to help companies and governments better understand how to redesign transportation, devices, the house, everything you do every day. So you're going to make a bunch of these suits. You're hoping that corporate America or corporations around the world, they embrace these things, and it allows them to see things in a different way. There is a new business of old age. We are expecting far more. They expect new and better. Now, by the way, you mentioned business. By selling these suits, is this a business unto itself? I don't think so. I think what's important to know about aging is that it's not something that starts when you're 65 or 70. It starts when you're 30. We grow and develop until we're 30, and aging starts right then. The good news is that we have about four or five times more capacity than we need at 30, and we lose about 1% a year. So by 80, we've lost half, but we still have twice more than capacity than we need to function. And aging, therefore, has a lot of good things that 
that you, that I'm glad that you emphasized. Yeah, yeah. Right. You've had this suit on for how long now? I've had this on for a good 40 minutes. Right. Well, the first thing you noticed when you put the whole suit on was what? Completely restricted. I mean, I'm, I, there's a pelvic harness which is strapped to these bands, so I don't have mobility like I normally would, and I'm completely off balance because I have foam pads under the shoes, so everything is off center, off balance, and I can't do what I normally do. <laughs> Let's try a couple of simple okay. tasks, right? The simple thing of getting out of a chair, okay, which is fairly a low chair, right. which a, a lot of chair. seniors have trouble with. And already I feel to get out is the restrained motion. I can't, I don't have that, I can't just pop out of a chair. Okay, can you sit down easily? Yeah, yeah right. it's, slowly. It's, slowly, slowly, exactly. It's all, it's all yeah. much slower. All right, we're going to try and, and pour the milk into the cereal and, and have a little of the cereal. You feel all thumbs because I have two layers of latex gloves on. So, you know, and, you that, don't and that is to feel. simulate. Well, you know, Natalie, as you might be feeling now as Agnes, we want you to get that aha moment of what it feels like to have just that little bit of friction to do the things you do every day. Right. Yeah, I, I feel the friction. And, and it's also. Um, you know, I feel all my, like my joints are completely compressed yes. and Well, imagine it's, now it's you're pouring milk easy. and you're sitting still. And I can't see because I'm wearing We developed this with the U.S. Department of Transportation. I want you now to imagine to use public transit, walking across the street. Right. It's not easy. But, but can I emphasize that this is not inevitable? Mm -hmm. right. This is plastic. This is subject to change in the way that you live and the way that you age. And yeah. this is not inevitable. And it's important for people to understand that. Yeah, the, the idea is aging is a marathon. It's not a one-time activity. So work on well-being at a young age so you live well later yeah. on. Clearly the vision is, is weird because yeah. that's not cereal. That's potpourri, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you just took a big spoonful of it. Try to pick this pen But her taste buds have declined. this is the hardest part, I would say, is bending over and picking up I and mean, reaching for, for smaller objects and in here it requires a lot more effort. I mean, you know, it seems like such a simple motion, but it, just everything, your tactile awareness, the, all your senses are completely thrown off. Yeah, but again, in, in, the, in Agnes, the, the, the letter that jumps out to me yeah. most is E for empathy. You want people to understand what this is this all about. This is a tool for business, for government, and for all of us to understand what aging is about and how we can plan for it tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you. Really appreciate mm -hmm. it. It's like fascinating stuff. Now. You can get out of this now. And <laughs> Thanks very much. Can I just say the positive part is great, and, and what she said it, it, in her 90s is what normal aging is in the absence of disease. It's important yeah. to remember. All right, guys, again, thank you thank very you. much.